Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 30th of August. It's Thursday. It could be the 30th, the 31st. You know, it could be yesterday, whatever. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is perhaps planning a trip together, spending some time alone together. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So today is about forgiveness. One more, I suppose. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. If you can forget, forgive something, perhaps, maybe you need to forgive to, to move on. And you need to follow your heart. Hard to forgive. It really is. Especially when you've been abandoned. But, you know, maybe if you take some time alone to work on things, you never know. Maybe explain your issues. I don't know. Mm. Loss of faith. Insecurity. Somebody is discouraged. But they're also not acting, you know, what I just heard was they're not acting out of their heart. They're not being pure with themselves. Not pure is what I heard. Not pure. Therefore, they're not getting wish fulfillment. They've lost their hope. Mm. Turning away from a family, turning away from, from a legacy, not feeling abundant in some way, lack of abundance, lack of security, both too insecure, I'm insecure. E. Now, somebody may have set up some boundaries that has made another person feel insecure, or maybe you need to. But when you get the Page of Swords reverse, there's, you know, there's, there's barriers that have been put up. And they, these could be barriers in communication. Communication barriers. Somebody has been taking a break contemplating, perhaps isolating themselves because they've been hurt. Maybe they've been blocked. But unable to let it end with the death card, still unable to release, holding on to something, holding on to an idea still. holding on to some conflict as well. Somebody has lost hope in, in renewal. <laughs> lost hope that there could be a new beginning. I've lost hope. Letting go of something that was abundant and it hurts. There's a jet flying over. Yep. If somebody has given up putting effort into something, not working together, they don't appreciate what they had. They didn't appreciate what they had. And it looks like the, the opportunity, you know, is being thrown away. 
or is not being accepted. A golden opportunity that is solid that you can take to the bank is being thrown away because of negative thinking, because of immaturity. Somebody is immature in this situation. I can't really zoom it in and get all the cards, but I think we'll just go with that. Somebody needs to find the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower and the force within them to, to put in effort, to work a little bit harder, okay? To work a little bit harder instead of being negative and not putting in effort. You know, if you just worked a little bit harder on it, you found the courage to do so. It looks as though, you know, oh God, you know, I see that that strength is needed in this situation. If somebody puts in effort, what will the outcome be? Restoring. Okay, restoring. So there's an opportunity to restore something that's been taken away. Here it is. It's like once you face your demons, things come back together. And demons are fear. There's immaturity here, like I said. There's immaturity. There's pettiness. Drama. Oh, with somebody from the past. So there's memories of the past that are haunting somebody. They're haunting somebody. Unable to let go. And there is an opportunity to restore something from the past. If somebody could think positive and have faith that... There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Somebody's finding needs to find the strength to restore it. The power is in your hands. You have the resources. You have the power to, to bring success to your life or success to this situation that's from your past. But you have to take action. The magician takes action. Uses whatever resources he can find, no matter what it is, I will do whatever it takes to restore something from the past. I will do whatever it takes. I have the resources. I know that I do. I can do it. I will do it. Somebody needs to find the strength to and be willing to take action. To bring success to something that had fallen apart. Something that was hurtful. Something hurt. You know, with the Knight of Swords reverse, it's like somebody's in no rush. No rush to restore. No rush to... take action no rush at all to take action but hurting themselves in the process you know there's a feeling of lack of energy okay there's lack of energy to pursue to move forward to charge in somebody is withholding communication they are. They're withholding communication out of animosity. There's animosity here. Now, the devil is, is the shadow side. It's the ego, okay? And it's reversed. Somebody needs to step outside of their shadow self. They need to find the resources to do that. There's an opportunity for abundance here. There's an opportunity for security and stability. You know, the nine of pentacles or the nine of coins in this card is being grateful. Okay, the storm is over. Be grateful for what you have learned. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the experiences. Use them to your benefit. Let go of the 
let go of the idea that this couldn't lead to anything solid because it is solid it's something you can touch it's something that you can have but somebody thinks that it won't lead to anything solid but they want to go back yeah okay so somebody wants to go back they're thinking about going back for what they left but still hiding behind that wall. Deceiving themselves, wearing a mask. There's some observation going on behind the scenes and somebody is pretending that they don't care when they do because they've lost hope that they will be accepted. It's like there's a lack of appreciation here. There's a lack of togetherness, a lack of teamwork. You know, I don't, I don't know if this will work out, but they want to go back. There's fear of rejection. <laughs> yes, there is. There's fear of rejection. Somebody wants to charge in towards their past, but they fear being rejected. You know, but they're still holding on, still holding on to the hurt, the memories with the death card reversed. And it is getting old. It's getting old. But there is an opportunity for something solid. She's holding it in her hand. And she's very generous. Trying to avoid a disaster. Somebody is trying to avoid... A shake-up by... Keeping that wall up, you know, I don't, I don't want any problems, I don't want any conflicts, I don't want any upheaval in my life, but, but, I want something stable, I want something secure, somebody needs to, somebody is about to take action, it looks like, or they're needing to make that offer, that stable, secure offer. This is this is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a solid, slow, grounded approach. So somebody could be thinking about, or they may be taking baby steps in the direction of their heart. Really fearful of disaster. But, I mean, this is, uh, it can definitely lead to something so solid and stable. But there's a lot of fear here, like I said. The Knight of, of uh, Swords reversed is fear. It is. And that's loss of faith, loss of hope, discouragement. Somebody is discouraged. But you have the resources. If you take steps, if you stop stalling, you have the resources to restore something that has been taken from you. But this fear of, of upheaval is big. You have to act with integrity. You need to find that moral backbone to do the right thing, to take charge. That's what this is. Maybe there's an apology. I mean, I was going to say it with this card, but this is absolutely an apology. To restore balance. Balance needs to be restored in whatever relationship this is. There's an opportunity to restore balance. There absolutely is. But fear of rejection is huge. There could have been some cheating. There could have been some lies. There's been some shady, sneaky behavior. And, you know, somebody is afraid that they will be rejected when the truth comes out. But this is a test. This is a test. It's a quiet test. It's about being solid. It's about being practical. Somebody is, is in the process of planning how they're going to handle this, what they're going to do. They're, so they're in planning mode. Being patient. There's, there's definitely somebody is patiently waiting for the right time. You know, and this is divinely guided. Whatever is going on is divinely guided. 
somebody wants to go back to to what they grew before, what they left. What they invested in. I've invested a lot in this. I have. And I know it has potential for something really, really, really solid. It does. But the opportunity has been thrown away and now somebody has to act with integrity and perhaps apologize. So maybe somebody, maybe apology is going to come through today. Perhaps. It looks like somebody has been taking their sweet little time with this apology. But not letting go of it, not not able to stop looking, not able to stop thinking about it, not not able to let it go. Mm. Holding on, obsessed with this opportunity that was solid. I am obsessed with it. I don't know if I should show you what's on the bottom, but I'm going to. The King of Cups reversed. <laughs> this is a person that is, is withdrawn, closed off, has closed off their heart. Detached. Unable to master their emotions and replace that fear with faith. Confused. I will close my heart off instead of open it. There's an opportunity for abundance here. If you can flip this around and open your heart. Trust. That love will endure. Romantic feelings. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Mm. But you're in denial about those feelings, aren't you? Somebody's in denial about their feelings. Wearing a mask, pretending they're not feeling what they're feeling. Needing to make that decision, take that mask off, stop blocking the truth, stop blocking your heart, and allow these feelings to come out. Healing family issues. Whew. Lack of discipline, loss of self, loss of direction, the lack of forgiveness is not moving you forward. It's not bringing you victory and success. You must forgive to have success. There's a lack of mental strength to heal and forgive. Therefore, there's no forward movement. There's no victory and success until you do. Honeymoon. Mm, bitter, resentful, harsh. This is harsh. Maybe, maybe you need to take some time apart with this person that you're thinking about right now as we're doing this reading to let go of the bitterness, to let go of the anger. Refusing, refusing to th see things from a new perspective. There's anger here <clears throat> that needs to be released, needs to be healed. Some, there's an opportunity for a fresh start, a do-over. If you can step outside of the resent and the anger and the bitterness from the past. 
This is a fresh new start without the baggage, the hurt from the past. But you have to take a risk. You have to replace that fear with faith. And it's time to start a new journey. There's an opportunity for a fresh start here with somebody and you know who it is. We're going to go one step further and get one of these. There's an opportunity for healing. There's an opportunity for love. If somebody can stop lying to themselves, whether it's a new love or a past love. We do have the Six of Cups here, so for a lot of you, this is a past love. Somebody needs to find the strength, the courage, the confidence, and the force within them to step outside of their comfort zone and go after what they want. Go after the abundance, whatever it was that was solid and stable in the past that they are still holding on to. They haven't been able to let it go, and they do want a fresh new start. But they fear re rejection, so they, they're not offering this. And perhaps they, you know, their shadow side is taking over because an apology is needed. But if you have to step out of your shadow side to restore something that has, you know, fallen apart. So, um... Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Let me just zoom this in, and then I'll read it. <laughs> Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Even if you can't see what's around the next full corner, go forward. Just had to move that out I'm sorry see the thing is is you do need to move you need to make moves and that is what that card says even if you can't see what's around the next corner go forward slowly and gently you are safe when you take the time to go slowly and somebody is new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast and this is no rush as well so yeah no rush Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Sometimes the mist and the fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's in those moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so as to not fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen to the whisperings of your soul and trust your inner voice. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a fresh start here. Slow and steady. Take your time. This could be with somebody from the past. It could be with somebody new. This is broadening your horizons. Finding the moral backbone to do the right thing for you, even if it hurts. Even if it's not glamorous. Even if it means that you have to come up with a new plan. It's about doing that right thing that's going to honor your soul. Anyway, that's what I have for today. Talk to you later.